Now we're gonna take our chicken and just throw it right on top of the grill and really let it start do its thing. Skin side down. That's gonna get nice and crunchy. And now we're gonna put together our vinaigrette. Now we're gonna take uh, the roasted garlic. It's all steamy and it smells really delicious. And we're gonna put that into uh, the, our, our blender here with some delicious lemon juice, lots of fresh herbs, some extra virgin olive oil, and then we're gonna blend it up until it's creamy, and then we're gonna base that on top of the chicken. Right, perfect. Now it's completely smooth and it has a bright green color from the parsley and the fresh thyme. What you want to do is just take a little taste and uh, make sure it's well balanced if it needs any salt and pepper. That's absolutely delicious. I'm telling you, you got to make this. It's so mind blowing. That's really, really good. That's perfect. It doesn't need a thing. All right, what we're going to do is take half of it out and we're going to base the chicken. Right? You want to make sure you don't contaminate anything. So we're going to just kind of portion it out. Half of it's going to go on top of the chicken, the other half we're going to save as a little drizzle at the end. All right, put that aside and get rid of this guy. Right, let's take a look at our delicious chicken. All right now we're slow grilling this skin side down so it gets nice and crispy. Now right, take a look at that. It's so crispy you can strike a match on it. Look at that skin. Isn't that fantastic. Now that's a grilled piece of chicken. All right now it's really important when you're grilling chicken you want to kind of keep it as dry as possible. There's a big myth about marinades and marinades end up uh, making the the, uh, the it could be pork chops or steak whatever kind of soggy when it happens because you don't really get that caramelization, that color of the protein itself. So that's what we're looking for. So we're going to flip it over. Now we're going to start to base on our flavor. Okay. So we got our dressing here. All right. It's got lots of great herb flavor. Parsley, lemon, that sweet roasted garlic. And we're just going to start to paint this on right now. Hey guys, the ultimate grilled chicken smells fantastic. I just flipped it over to the other side and I'm going to paint it once more with our Lemon and roasty garlic and herb vinaigrette it smells fantastic. The flavor is going to be great. We're just going to finish off for a couple more minutes on the other side and we're going to be ready to go. And we're also going to grill some lemons to serve along the side with us. And it's really something to finish off the dish with. Um, and I like to do a table side. It's kind of what I call culinary pyrotechnics. We're going to take a lemon. It's very, very simple. We're going to split it right in half. It's a really old technique. Something that I saw in Europe a long time ago. But what they do is they take the lemon, they'll put it right on top of the surface, and they'll grill it. What happens? The sugars inside the lemon begin to caramelize, and you squeeze caramelized lemon juice all over top of the chicken as soon as it's finished, and the flavor is fantastic. So we're gonna mark these off on the grill. Just kind of tuck them in all right, with everything else. And this is a great trick, even if you're serving grilled fish. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Caramelized lemon juice right over top of the whole thing, so it's really fresh and bright. And then we have a little bit of our sauce left over, and it's the same um, lemon garlic vinaigrette. We're just going to drizzle it right on top, and you've got a fantastic dinner. You guys are going to love it.